It is Wednesday, my dudes. What up, dudes? Welcome back to another Wasteline Wednesday. Today, I'm gonna be competing directly with the sounds of construction happening right outside of my house. So I wanna apologize for any background noise that you guys might hear in the video today. Our main focus today is going to be the old bandito. You guys may or may not know that the Bandit's uh, speedometer cluster gauge, since I've had the bike, has been bungee corded to the handlebars. It's just like, there's literally just a bungee going around it to the handlebars. That's how I've mounted. It. I have an old video way back when I did a speedometer mount for it but that was back when I had the round headlight and that worked out really well but because I have the custom license plate headlight it just doesn't work anymore so what I want to do is basically disassemble the speedometer see what I've got going on on the inside and then make like a custom switch panel I've got these really cool little flip switches that light up and I really wanted something to kind of feel like a little instrument panel so you can like flip it up, flip the switch, see if it's on or off. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet. It's probably still going to be attached to the handlebars but I want it to be a little bit more permanent, a little bit more put together instead of just some bungee cords <laughs> and a bunch of wires hanging out. We'll get started by pulling off the speedometer, opening it up and then seeing what we have to work with. So now that I've got the instrument panel off, this isn't gonna quite come together as I thought it would. I thought by pulling this apart, I'd be able to break it down a little bit more and get some more space. I was able to take the little hoods off of this, which makes me way happier, but it's still just quite a bit too cumbersome to have up here and then create an additional panel around it, um, which I've already kind of measured everything out. And then having that there, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna fold it around it so it's gonna sit flush inside, but it's just, uh, it's just a, it's not enough space. So my next thought was to create a sort of latch and kind of hide the key away, because I don't really want to mess with the ignition right now. And this kind of fits in here over the key, and I thought, okay, well, what if I just leave this tucked in here, and if I have it at a certain level, it's not touching the key, I can kind of have it sit flush with my headlight mount, and my next thought was to create a latch, uh, sort of uh, a swinging open motion. So if you can imagine the instrument cluster and the two switches sitting here with the hinge there, I want to make some sort of uh, little latch here that I can unlatch it, whole panel <sighs> folds up, and then you can turn your key off. I think it's going to work out. That means that I have to go run and get a hinge because I don't have any hinges here. I want to make sure I have everything in the right place before I start cutting holes in license plates. Here we are, the next step. So I finally got this all cut out so that the speedometer, the gauges, you can see them from underneath. The goal right now is getting the speedometer mounted to the back of the license plate. This originally held on the little hoods that went over the speedometer. Just had these awful little fairing screws that went in there, which was fine for that piece, but because I'm mounting it to something, I want it to be more solid. I drilled out the holes and put in a little two millimeter Allen head. Just got to drill the holes, get everything all lined up. I've also got some little wing nuts and I figure using six of those is gonna be enough force to hold on the speedometer. And then lastly, I think we'll have a little bit of space back there to squeeze in my two little switches, which is going to be awesome.
this is still almost situated. I've kind of got everything where I want it at the moment. So the problem I ran into that I thought wouldn't happen was that the back of the speedometer was resting on the key. So that the full weight of this was resting directly on my key. And that's exactly what I didn't want. Going through all my junk, I found a mirror mount. Put uh, an old bolt in there and it just has to be tightened down a little bit, but this will simply rest on the bolt instead of resting on the key. So I'm gonna go ahead, get it all mounted here, drill the holes for the switches, and then the last thing I'll probably do once I wire in the switches and all that stuff, take it all apart, distress it, put it back together, make sure everything works. <laughs> Got a bolt, washer, spring on the other side. Put it on underneath so it attaches to the thing so that I have a little button. And this one I have already installed. You can hear a little click. So it's hitting the button that's on the speedometer. So now I have a fancy little rat bike way to still do my adjusters, adjust my time, do what I gotta do. I don't have to reach underneath to try and hit it. I can just hit the little bolt. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. This one was kind of something I came up with on the fly. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out once I'm actually back to riding the motorcycle, but I think it's going to be a lot better. Yeah, I'm really digging it for right now. I've got lots of ideas ready and raring to go, so I'm excited to come back at you next week with another video.